Today I'm reviewing the Thane Performance Sea Trumpet, which is a marvelous instrument with a few things to know. Firstly, let's hear it. Now some solo repertoire, something with a little more effervescence. Logan Thane is a one-man trumpet making operation in the Portland, Oregon area, and he had been working at Monette for a number of years before striking out on his own to make bespoke trumpets. And I think one of the goals he is heading toward with what he is making is to make very distinctive sounding trumpets that also have a certain manageability and a certain playability. So right off the bat, one of the most unique things about the Thane Performance series is the valve block. The bottom portion of the valves are actually bronze. And on his webpage, he describes that bronze can add a little more depth to the sound. And I think that just comes through right away. The pistons themselves are from Meinl Schmidt. They are really uh, wonderful. They are slick and reliable. They are just what you need. This trumpet has a few other features as well that you can see. This is almost an entirely stock order of a performance C trumpet. The tuning slide is entirely his design. You can see the rounded corners. I believe there is an entirely straight spot here in the middle of the tuning slide, which on some horns you get, some horns you don't. Now, I've owned and tried both of the major popular sea trumpet brands that are out there. And many good memories on you know, both of those horns. Um, this horn plays way differently and it takes a little bit of patience, but all the ingredients are the same from the trumpet technique that we use every day. 
So whereas on one of the more mainstream horns, we may use a lot of fast air and ride the top of the tone and the top of the pitch, at least usually, on this horn, we need to use the weight and use the resistance that is there instead of blowing over it or through it, just playing right into it. And it gets this really uh, rich resonance when we do that. In terms of the custom options that I had done for this trumpet, there are really only a few. The inlays are not one of them. These are Logan's default inlays, which is, is pretty neat. They, uh, they do look different at every angle as a cool inlay would. My custom features were the following, uh, the silver plate and this one uh, Delrin bottom valve cap, which I actually ordered from Frost Brass. The bell is very similar to a Bach 229. You can see that the receiver is kind of a middleweight receiver. You can also see some very deliberate placing of the braces and of the third slide stop. Another thing that is a default for Logan is the Amato water keys. I've never owned a trumpet with Amato water keys. His philosophy on them is that they are lighter and that of course change the feel and the response. My last uh, custom item was the first slide thumb ring. I had an instrument at one point with one of those on it. So it's a nice little throwback to that instrument that I had before. This trumpet has a perfectly even sound and response in every register on every scale. That is not something that you usually find on a C trumpet. Again, it takes a slight variation of our normal trumpet playing or expected trumpet playing ingredients. Uh, however, this trumpet really does that. I was looking for a super distinct sound and of course playability when I ordered this trumpet. It really delivered on that. So since Logan is a one-man operation making these highly bespoke trumpets, these things take time. His website currently lists a six-month waiting period. I had silver plating done, so it took a little bit longer for me. If you have a Thane Performance C trumpet or have one on order, please get in touch. I would love to get to play some of these in the same room at some point. I hope you have found this review to be informative and helpful.